Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Show now here. About to give you another WWE Immortals video. And this video, we do the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose full five battles on Nightmare Difficulty. To recap with the Money in the Bank here, for the first battle, we ended up getting 2,600 credits. For Expert Difficulty, we ended up getting 11 procs for 3,300 in the 300 category. And then we ended up getting seven so we got four thousand credits all together so for using the wrestlemania gear in 126 fights we ended up getting about six thousand five hundred credits six thousand six hundred credits total so really don't get that many returns it's on average about 50 credits a fight but it's also more credits that you'd have but is it really worth the effort and time for swapping those gear slots possibly for more useful things time will tell on that one so in the first challenge, we're actually going to try to use unpromoted bronze cards like we've done in the past. That way Kane can do the whole 11 fights without having to use any energy. Going up against Centurion, Roman Reigns, Giant Big Show, and Pyromancer Nikki Bella. First two cards are level 35 Legendary 5, and the outer card is level 35 Legendary 2. Let's give the match is 1,000 credit. So we have the WrestleMania gear on page, and we have... The Money in the Bank gear items on Randy Orton and Sheamus. This will be one for the ages. 10% speed does help with Cage, but it does hinder Roman Reigns, and his speed buff actually slows down his light effect. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Superman Punch block for 199. We're gonna go up the Banshee Rage. And the reason for that is adrenaline drain, massive proportions. Double adrenaline drain there. Queen of Ravens triggered. We're going to get Randy Orton in for a minute. Paige does need to recover. Now, with Randy Orton and Sheamus, you're going to want to use super moves, not special moves. Superman Punch block for 237. And there's the block breaker from the Money in the Bank gear in. So, Randy Orton at two bars. We're going to get Paige back in. Power Drain is blocked. Superman Punch block for 222. And another block. We're gonna have to try to do it off combo. Superman punch block for 281. At this point, it's not worth using a finisher. Page really starting to get down on health. We're gonna have to get Sheamus in. Irish Curse will get rid of Roman Reigns. Randy Orton is at three bars. So the big show comes in next. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as the Big Show down to about half health. Get a look at great. 2455 giant drop block for 257. The Big Show is in trouble. That Cobra Clutch Slam is going to connect, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It might still... does not quite knock Randy Orton out. I'm going to get Sheamus in to deal with Brie Bella when she comes in. Sheamus almost at three bars. Spinning Drop Record blocked for 169. I would have got the Bro Kick on Nikki Bella. That should be enough to get rid of her. Get ready for a 2,472 damage for the victory in the first fight. 1,032 XP, 460 credits. So now for the next 11 fights, we can actually use Kane. We cannot use Roman Reigns. So we're going to get the Demon Kane in first. Kane. And I think we're going to put Nikki in the Bella, Bella Twins. So we're going to put in Bella. Nikki, Nikki Bella, Bella and Brie Bella. So we're going to give her the Money in the Bank Nikki gear. Bella. Bree and Bella. we're going to give Brie Bella the ticket. Now since bronze cards really can't do a lot Bree of damage, Bella. we should be okay Kane. with that. So the Demon Kane is going to take the Ultimate WrestleMania 2015 gear, the Extreme Rules 2015 gear as a minor way to heal up, as well as the Tribal Warp Kane. Kane, as critical damage is actually better than basic damage. So in the second matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud going up against Strongman Big E. Yes, Movement, Daniel Bryan, and Dark Sorcerer's Page. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. 
So already almost five minutes into the video, and we're only through the first fight. And but here they go. unpromoted bronze cards really don't do much damage outside of specials and super moves. Things should pick up quite a bit with Kane. Kane can probably get away with not actually using WrestleMania gear, but we like to have a little bit of insurance. Plus, the level one move can then power drain. Strongman Crush. Hits for about 1,500. Still doesn't do that much damage to Kane. Page comes in at one bar. Kane is at two. Thorne got the body press badly aimed. Still enough to get rid of Page. Daniel Bryan comes in and flaming fist by Kane. Dragon Screw blocked for 252. And that Poison Cloud doesn't do enough damage in my opinion. 27 is like a slap in the face. Another Dragon Screw blocked for 411. So the Bell is almost at two bars. Kane should have more than enough to hang out. Even if he were to take a special. So there is Big E at two bars. And the Power Bomb blocked for 212. Strongman Crush blocked for 329. And Big E eliminated for the victory in the second fight. 174 XP. 1,500 credits. In the third matchup, we have the Demon Kane, Ice Witch, Brie Bella, and Giant Big Show. Cards get a level of 36, so the match is 1,000 credits. Let's so we have a duel of Kane's, and mine looks bigger for some reason. Must be the power of Satan's dick. Satan battling himself. My cane is at one bar. Taking a couple shots there, but not really doing a whole lot of damage. Kane only heavy hitting for 195. It comes with a WrestleMania. Now, it's not going to really matter that much with all bronze cards. It makes more of a factor when you start getting silver cards in play, especially if you get two of them. So, Kane eliminated. Brie Bella is in. That Hurricane Run is going to connect for about 800. 1331, actually. And we're going to save the Choke Slam from Hell for the Big Show. That one hit for 927, so not quite as much boom. Kane is an extremely slow attacker, but he does have the most health in the game, I believe, at 240 base. Sheamus, I think, has 290 damage, or 280, somewhere in that range. Pretty good. Brie Bella eliminate. Cobra Clutch Slam is going to connect, but it's not going to do much damage to Kane. Somebody got the Choke Slam from Hell, and Fat Fuck is eliminated. Eight thousand seven hundred and seventy-three damage for the victory in the third fight. One hundred and seventy-six XP. Five hundred and forty credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock going up against White Witch Trish Stratus, Ancient Druid Sheamus, and Viper Randy Orton. Skip the match is one thousand credits. It begins. So no money in the bank procs in four fights so far. Two minutes and 15 seconds to complete this fight. Should be plenty of time if Kane can actually hit opponent. One of the slowest bronze cards in the game. However, the one we got the most promotion for. So Whiplash Head Scissors blocked for 285. I think he's the only bronze card that has three gear slots. Double Life Steal for 130. Another for 65. So Sheamus is in. Irish Curse blocked for 348. Now, Sheamus is a softer health card. Ray Jordan, only about 10 points better. Chris Stratus is pretty average in both categories. Irish Curse blocked for 469. Sheamus eliminated. Edward got the choke slam from hell. Ray Jordan is eliminated. Eight thousand seven hundred and seventy-three damage for the victory in the third fight, as we had a minute and twenty-eight to spare. One hundred seventy-eight XP, five hundred eighty credits. 
In the fifth matchup, we have Pyromancer Nikki Bella, the Demon Kane, and Strongman Big E. Cards gain a level of 37. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. If anybody from Warner Brothers is watching this video, please put Let's silver rolling. cards in the first battle of Nightmare. You are not doing yourself any favors as br unpromoted bronze cards with decent gear can actually solo all of these fights. This is not a nightmare. Maybe Jawbreaker block for 277. And in fact, with a lot of the gear that they give, you can probably get away with clearing Nightmare with all gold cards at like 20,000 health, assuming you have somebody with decent blocking gear. And of course, the WrestleMania gear is a huge help, but you have to be geared out the ass to probably do it, but I could see it being done, especially if you have Sheamus as one of your front runners. Another solid choice is Paige, who has that power drain and heal off Signature 1. But it'd be a nice change of pace to actually have the card doing damage if this is just a joke. This is not a nightmare. Personal opinion, of course. Throwing off the choke slam from hell and Saint eliminates himself for trying to sleep with Saddam Hussein himself. Eight thousand seven hundred seventy-three damage for the victory in the fifth fight. One hundred eighty XP. Six hundred and twenty credits. I think we're gonna put Randy Orton back in. Randy Orton. Randy. We're gonna Orton. give him the money in the bank gear. I think Randy that Orton. Bree Bella had the ticket. Yes, she does. So in the sixth matchup, we have Dark Sorcerer's Page, Viper, Randy Orton, and Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. Skip the match is five thousand credits, and the challenge is Adrenaline Rush. Watch out. This Page one's starting off with Satan's Dead. And God help me if I had body hair like that. That's just disgusting. It's almost as bad as thinking about the Big Show's nipples. So Page eliminated. Randy Orton is in. Send him his backbreaker into a body press. Randy Orton eliminated. Dragon Screw blocked for 286. A couple shots on Daniel Bryan. Soften him up for Randy Orton. Dragon Screw blocked for 286. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as Daniel Bryan is eliminated. What type of video would it be without several RKO's? 2,339 damage for the victory in the 6th fight. 182 XP. 660 credits. In the 7th matchup we have Ancient Druid Sheamus, Ice Witch Brie Bella, and Giant Big Show. Cards gain a level of 38. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. So we get our first Money in the Bank proc in Nightmare Difficulty, seven fights in. Here we go! And with about 23-24% odds, that can easily happen. And we did have one challenge in Standard Difficulty that only gave us one total proc. That was in the fourth battle standard with one 100 credit. So I think the Money in the Bank proc is actually good just because it kind of gives that random factor that you don't know when you're going to get it. and. If you use Money in the Bank gear yourself, you can actually compare with me and see how much you got. Cover Clutch Slam block for 162. I had to swap the lightning cable out because we were having some glitchy issues, so hopefully that didn't affect the video in any way. Cover Clutch Slam block for 162. Her is going to connect. Randy Orton comes in. Burke around a block for 261. And 
from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, and three Bella significantly softened up. I am the legend. And the choke slam from hell will ensure that we can get rid of her for getting that stupid ass tattoo near her pussy. Come on. 8,355 damage for the victory in the seventh fight, and I feel bad for Daniel Bryan for having to look at that every time he wants to eat pussy. 184 XP, 1,000 credits, and I believe that is a 300 credit proc. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against White Witch Trish Stratus, Soldier John Cena, and Centurion Roman Reigns. Bronze cards remain at level 38. The middle card turns into a level 30 Legendary 2 Silver. Let's give the match is 5,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Challenge is Health Surge. John Cena is the Silver card. Life steal for 81 for King. And healing Trish Stratus for about 18 health. Not really going to do much when you're taking about 20 times of damage. Whiplash Head Scissors does connect for 887. And John Cena that we really have to worry about. And there is John Cena barely at one bar now. Kane is at two. That Cena Plex is going to do some damage. It's for 3326. But we're getting off the choke slam from hell, and John Cena should be eliminated. I will beat Not quite enough. Cena Plex blocked with 642. Randy Orton's gonna have to come in so Kane can heal up. And John Cena doing a lot of damage. Block breaker on that special. We got the searing stop. That way we can sure we get rid of John Cena. Actually, it might not. No, he survives that. Cena Plex blocked, and John Cena eliminated. Trish Strat is back in. Air Strat is blocked for 473. We're going to get three Bella in. Randy Orton's in big trouble. Flash Head Scissors is going to connect as well. That's for a lot of damage. But we're going to get off some Twin Magic, and Trash Strat should be eliminated. By the worst card in the game. Free mode activated. Roman Reigns comes in. Superman Punch block for 264 does not knock out Brie Bella. Kane at two and a half bar. Almost at full health. Superman Punch block for 235. Kane is at three bar. Superman Punch block for 299. Randy Orton is at two and a half bars, but he is pretty low on health. Black breaker on Roman Reigns. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, as Roman Reigns should be eliminated. And I believe he's still only legendary too. 2,339 damage for the victory in the eighth fight. 186 XP. 740 credits, so that was a 300 credit proc in the previous fight. In the ninth matchup, we have the Demon Kane, Stone Watcher of the Rock with 9,000 health, and Dead Man Undertaker with 11,000 health. The bronze card gains a level of 39 Legendary 5, and the silver cards are level 31 Elite 2, gaining one level in the middle slot. The skill of the match is 10,000 credits. So this isn't particularly a difficult fight, as the Rock is the only real damage dealer. Undertaker really doesn't do a whole lot. We're going to try to keep Kane as much as we can, and we have our second Money in the Bank proc in Nightmare Difficulty. This will be one for the ages! We're probably going to need both a Choke Slam from Hell and an RKO to deal with Undertaker. Now, Ken, Kane can take quite a few hits, though. Electrifying Suplex Block for 804. The 
Undertaker does significantly less damage. The level two move actually does less than his level one. Kane at two and a half bar. Minor life skill for 56. So that's blocked for 616. We're gonna have to choke slam from hell and see if this is enough to get rid of the rocks. My favorite looking super in the game. Please add a gold cane. That is enough to get rid of him. Choke slam blocked for 652. We're gonna get Randy Orton as he should be able to take a couple hits from the Undertaker. Undertaker choke slam blocked for 550. Second one blocked for 473. So he can probably take one more before going down. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face as the Undertaker is down to about two thirds of one half health. Get a look at about two thirds. Undertaker cannot finish off Randy Orton. We're gonna save that twin magic either for Kane or for Undertaker's dead man. They are at two bars. That body press does connect. That burning is gonna do a lot of damage to Undertaker. So Kane comes back in, power bomb block. No point of using the finisher on Brie Bella until after the dead man trigger. So there it is. We're gonna go off the twin magic on the Undertaker and take out about half of his remaining health. We'll give Kane a chance to recover some of his health. I make it. 1907. Kane's still at one bar. The last ride blocked with 550 and the power bomb on the Undertaker. It's enough to get rid of him as we did get the critical from the WrestleMania gear for the victory in the ninth fight. 188 XP. 780 credits. As it goes up to 1,080, so we got our second 300 credit proc. In the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle, going up against Strongman Big E, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Arena Ultimate Warrior. All cards gain a level of 40 and 32, so the match is 10,000 credits. And here they go! That life skill isn't really for a lot for Kane. Starman Crush blocked for 426. And the Ultimate Warrior is it. That was his Bree Bella. 4 Rage block for 847, taking out over half of Bree Bella's health. That one will get rid of her, and I'm okay with that because Bree Bella sucks. As long as we can keep Randy Orton, we should be alright. And even then, it probably won't be a problem. So, Ultimate Warrior at one bar. Warrior Rage block for 442. We got a light one. Kane comes back in. Very good timing there. So we're going to go off the Choke Slam from Hell, and the Ultimate Warrior should be eliminated. I will burn the flesh from your Strongman Crux from Big E blocked for 470. Well, at this point, it's not even worth knocking out Big E with that. And the... And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, as Stone Cold will be down about 20% health. Get a look at great. 2339, so it really didn't take much off of Stone Cold. Now, if we could save him beyond this tag, that would be good. Let's see if he does a special. No point blocking. But Kane does come back in. One for the road, blocked for 516. Kane is at full health and a double life skill there for about 226. We want Stone Cold to take the special, or Randy Orton to take, not take the special. And we'll give a chance for Kane to recover. Stone Cold not doing a special, so Kane comes back in. Life steal for 7 health. Pretty shitty. 
Warning off the choke slam from hell and Stone Cold should be eliminated. Randy Orton did not get knocked out. You will face the 8,355 damage for the victory in the 10th fight. 190 XP, 820 credits. In the 11th matchup, we have Yes Movement Daniel Bryan, Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and Solar Assassin Nikki Bella. Silver cards gain a level at 33 Legendary 2. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get it going! <laughs> Daniel Bryan trying to do some damage to Kane, pushing them away. Brock Lesnar is in. What's that one bar? I believe he had about 11,000 health. Ground and pound block for 688. Kane had about two and a half bars. Ground and pound again, blocked for 509. Putting off the choke slam from hell and beast incarnate Brock Lesnar is eliminated. I'll take you. Old enough to get rid of him. Spinning jaw breaker blocked for 691 and came down to about half health. So I think after his next special, we're gonna swap out to Randy York. Kane taking a lot of damage. Spinning drop record blocked for 461, and that's why we did opt to put WrestleMania gear on Kane, because it's really helpful when you're dealing with double silver cards. Spinning drop record blocked for 442. And from out of nowhere, a fucking RKO to the face, as Nikki Bella should be softened up to about half health. We're gonna try to leave Kane out for a little bit, that way we can heal him up the full. Daniel Bryan back in. We're going to get Brie Bella in. I think they're going to have some sex. Dragon Screw blocked for 261. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. That one, however, is. Hit for 1624. So we're going to go some twin magic, and we'll see if this is enough to get rid of Daniel Bryan. As they're doing some kinky role playing out on the deck. Fuck you can buck, but you can't touch. Kane almost at three bars. We're going to have another choke slam from Hell, and Nikki Bella is eliminated, who cannot fend for her sister. As she's talking about Brie 8,355 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 192 XP, 860 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Lifesteal, which has been between 10 and 25%. Going up against Giant Big Show, The Authority, Triple H, and Back Alley Brawler, Dean Ambrose. Silver cards gain a level of 34. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Now, a situation like this, it's probably best to slow play on the Big Show. That way we can deal with Triple H. And we do have our third Money in the Bank proc in 12 fights. So we're about on average at 25%. So we're going to use light attacks on the Big Show. Three life skills for about 120. Triple H comes in early, and that's still about 20%. Face Buster blocked for 734. Actually, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like about 14%. Triple H almost at two bars. Face Buster blocked for 761. Another one blocked for 789. Kane taking a lot of damage at three bars. I'm trying not to use the super move on. And that's who we want to use it on. That comeback clothesline is going to wipe out Randy Orton, unfortunately. But we're going to have the choke slam from hell, and Dean Ambrose will be at critical life. We'll have Brie Bella heal Kane up. Come on. Although we did do a decent job of that. Still at about half health. 
He and Ambrose is going to try to fight out of it. He is at one bar. The Big Show comes back in. Now, this is a good time to have Brie Bella take some hits. Giant drop blocked for 294. Homer Tuck Slam blocked for 243. Triple H back in, Face Buster blocked for 766. And the body press will be enough to get rid of Triple H. You don't need a choke slam for him. Dean Ambrose back in. And now we're gonna go off the three met or the twin magic and try to get rid of Dean Ambrose. That's right. That is enough to knock him out. Forward punch slam blocked for 255 as his fat does not get rid of Brie Bella. Kane almost back to full health. And the power bomb on the Big Show should be enough to get rid of him. For the victory in the 12th fight. One hundred ninety-four XP, eleven thousand four hundred credits up to eleven thousand five hundred. So we got two three hundred credit procs and one one hundred credit for seven hundred total credits. So the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose Challenge Battle One on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and in the second challenge, our resident Black Man Big E must be on your team. And as we've been Big doing e. for a lot of the fights in Nightmare, Daniel we've pretty Bryan. much just been using Daniel Bryan to quicken the fights. We could use Sheamus, but I want to save him for the third battle. So we're going to use Daniel Bryan. We're going to use Pantheon Big E and Trish, Trash Trish Stratus. Stratus. We're going to give her the ticket because she sucks so bad. Trish Stratus, Big and E. We're going to give Pantheon Big E the Money in the Bank gear. Big E. Daniel Bryan. So no, 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 Daniel Bryan. We're just going to load him up with damage here. The Inner Beast, the Celtic Tendon, and the Tactical Daniel Vest. Bryan. No reason for the money in the bank here. In the first matchup, we have Lunar Guardian, Brie Bella, Arena Ultimate Warrior, and Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Just like in the first battle, the outer cards are Legendary 5, and the middle card is Legendary 2. Although I think it was the outer card that was had two promotions. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Watch out. This one's going to be brutal. Well, the Ultimate Warrior is in. Adrenaline gain for the Ultimate Warrior. Let's save him. Brock Lesnar comes in. Grounded Pound block for 1198. Brock Lesnar eliminated and a air go through the moon shield. Will be enough to get rid of Brie Bella for the victory in the first fight. 230 XP. 480 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge. Going up against Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and Pantheon Big E. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Here we go! So health search for about 81, which is extremely slow when you're getting hit for 3,000 damage. Nikki Bella eliminated. Sheamus is in. He's healing even less. 52. Sheamus wiped out. Big E comes in, who is black. Dragon Screw will get rid of Big E for the victory in the second fight. Turn 32 XP. 520 credits. In the third matchup, we have Banshee Knight Page, Soldier John Cena, and Stone Watcher The Rock. Cards gain a level of 31. Skip the match is 1,000 credits. Now, what we're probably going to do between the third and fourth fight, we're this probably going to use Sheamus for the, for the entire third battle. We're going to try to use Sheamus for the first two fights of the fourth battle, meaning we'll put the Bronze Daniel Bryan. Actually, yeah, we'll have to put the Bronze Daniel Bryan. 
at least for the third battle. John Cena is in. And John Cena eliminated for the victory in the third fight. Thirty-five XP, five hundred and sixty credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle going up against the Authority Triple H, the Authority Stephanie McMahon, and Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, who does not follow Triple H's orders. Skip the match is one thousand credits. So the challenge is Shuffle. No money in the bank procs in the second battle just yet, but they did come awfully late in the first battle as well. I think the first one was in the seventh fight, then the ninth or tenth, and then the twelfth fight. So Stephanie eliminated. We're going to let Trish get knocked out. <laughs> and Big E comes in. Who is black? We're gonna go up a strongman crush of that would hunt Daniel Bryan out. So we're gonna go up the flying headbutt on Stone Cold. And that pretty much elevated the damage up to 200%. Ooh, the victory in the fourth fight. 237 XP. 600 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Deadman Undertaker, Pantheon Big E, and Back Alley Brawler Dean Amber. Cards are gain a level of 32, so the match is 5,000 credits. If I actually wanted the fights to be 15 minutes, I'd probably use John Cena, Enlightened and Big Show, and somebody else, and I'd probably actually do these fights with unpromoted gold cards, but I really don't want to have the fight to go for like 45 minutes. I just know it'd be easily doable. Undertaker eliminated. Dean Ambrose is in. And those hits on Daniel Bryant actually give him more power. Fury Smackdown into a Dragon Screw. Dean Ambrose should be eliminated. And the Dragon Screw on Big E will also get rid of him for the victory in the fifth fight. 240 XP. 640 credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Fatigue going up against Arena Ultimate Warrior, Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, and Stone Watcher The Rock. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. It begins. Who'll come out on top? Ultimate Warrior taking a lot of damage. Six hits to knock him out. Moon Shield active on Brie Bella. Appears to be a pretty weak fatigue. Brie Bella eliminated. And the Dragon Screw on the Rock will be enough to get rid of him for the victory in the sixth fight. As it hits for 20,001 damage. Nice flat number. Turn 2 XP. 4,680 credits. In the seventh matchup, we have Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and Solar Assassin Nikki Bella. Cards get a level of 33. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Let's get rolling. Rock Lesnar trying to pummel Daniel Bryant, not really doing any damage. Rock Lesnar eliminated. Nikki Bella is in. Nikki Bella also wiped out. Throwing off the air go, and Sheamus is eliminated for the victory in the summer fight. Two hundred forty-four XP, seven hundred twenty credits. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock going up against Ice Bomb Watcher Stone Cold, Banshee Knight Page, and the Authority Triple H. Skill the match is 5,000 credits. Now, you'll note the difference between Immortals and Injustice is that the lowest card and you'll see is level 40 Elite 5 Silver, but then they'll throw multiple challenges in. 2 minutes and 20 seconds to complete this match. Now, Mortals, in my opinion, has the funnest gear in the game, but there are a lot of things 
that they still have to work on. So if any devs from Warner Brothers actually want my input, I'd be glad to give it to them. But one thing for sure, raise the difficulty on these fights, especially if the gameplay mechanics are the same. This is absolutely easy. As Paige eliminated for the victory in the eighth fight with one minute and 50 seconds to spare. 206 XP, 760 credits. Want good examples of that? Watch the Martian Manhunter Nightmare Battle 5 or 600 Wonder Woman or Godfall Superman without that ridiculous uh, power drain or whatever it is. In the ninth matchup, we have the Authority Stephanie McMahon, Dead Man Undertaker, and Soldier John Cena. Cards getting a level of 34. Skip the matches now. 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages! Stephanie McMahon eliminated, The Undertaker comes in. Undertaker triggers his dead man. Chokeslam blocked for 730. Undertaker eliminated. And that is blocked with Daniel Bryan almost at one bar again. And the Dragon Screw will get rid of John Cena for the victory in the ninth fight. And 49 XP, 800 credits, and we received three stamina cards. In the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Lifesteal going up against Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, Stone Watcher The Rock, and Lunar Guardian Bree Bella. Cards gain a, actually remain at level 34. So the match is 10,000 credits. As far as lifesteal goes, 10, 25, and 50% is go. not overpowered. Especially when you're dealing with cards that do like two to 3,000 damage. Even if you heal for 500, you're still going to get some value out of it. So I don't think that would be overpowered in Nightmare. Here is SmackDown blocked for 1390. And people really do want a challenge. I mean, Nightmare is not that hard. As Brie Bella is in. We'll take a shot, and we're going to go the yes, yes, yes. Stone Watcher the Rock is eliminated. We're going to hurt him around a block for 901. Hurt him around a block, and Brie Bella eliminated. For the victory in the 10th fight. 252 XP, 840 credits. And I think we're going to have to swap out. Yes, we are. So we're going to put in Strongman Big E. Big E. And we're going to give him the Money in the Bank gear. Big E. I think we're also going to put in... We'll put it in Big Show. Big Show since we will be using them in the fifth Big battle. Show. We're going to give him the Money in the Bank ticket. Big Show. We're not going to really need to worry about blocking gear right now. So in the 11th matchup, we have Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Cards getting a level of 35, so the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get it going. We've not seen a Money in the Bank rock the entire second battle. Stone Cold comes in. Nice Cold Vengeance trigger. Stone Cold won't be able to use it. Nikki Bella also eliminated. And the Dragon Screw will get rid of Brock Lesnar. Almost. For the victory in the 11th fight. 54 XP, 880 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud going up against Celtic Warrior Sheamus, Soldier John Cena, and the Authority Triple H. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. It begins 
Who will come out on top? So poison Cloud for 221 probably well, doesn't quite hit as hard as Sheamus does. But... John Cena is in. Yeah, Poison Cloud probably still doing more damage. Cena plus block for 1233. Everyone got the yes, yes, yes. The authority Triple H is eliminated. There is nobody 75,156 damage for the victory in a 12 fight. 256 XP as Enlightened Big Show hits level 31, gaining 44 damage and 200 and some odd health. 9,380 credits. So the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose Challenge Battle 2 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and we will have a Bronze Boost attack. Inside we receive... A Centurion Roman Reigns, Unrelenting, which is John Cena's Energy Boost, and Samoan Drop, which is Roman Reigns' Energy Boost. I believe that puts Roman Reigns at Legendary 4 or 5. We can actually check that right now, as a matter of fact, and that is his... Fifth promotion, so he has two more to go to Legendary 7. So now we're Sheamus. going to put in Celtic Warrior Sheamus. We're going to save Stephanie McMahon for a later battle. We're going to put in Undertaker. Deadman Undertaker. Ultimate and we're going to put in Sheamus. Arena Ultimate Warrior. So Sheamus in the first few fights can just go all out damage. So we're going to give him the Extreme Rule Gear, Celtic Pendant, and the Tribal War Paint. Sheamus Undertaker. And Deadman Undertaker will take the Money in the Bank Gear. Undertaker. Ultimate Warrior. Arena Ultimate Warrior will take the ticket. So that's the first time we've actually had zero procs Ultimate from Warrior. the Money in the Bank here in a challenge. The lowest previously was one in Battle 4 of Standing. So in the first matchup, we have Stone Watcher, The Rock, Evolved John Cena, and King of Kings Triple H. The Silver card is level 30 Legendary 4, and the Gold cards are level 22 Legendary 1. The skill of the match is 5,000 credits. Watch out. This yeah. one's gonna be brutal. Yeah. 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 Rock taking some damage after getting a couple yeah. of shots. In. John Cena comes in early. He's gonna be able to do yeah. some damage yeah. at five times or more, so the quicker we can get up the two yeah. bars, the better. Although now he is in level one range. Yeah. 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 Now at ten times damage. Yeah. There's a shot for 1620. Irish curse on John Cena. They had to do it like that to get rid of it. Triple H is in. Face Buster blocked for 1059. And the Irish curse should be enough to get rid of Triple H. Yes, it is. So the Rock is in by himself. Now we're going to see his crappy level 2 moving out. Yeah! There's the people's eyebrow. Yeah. Yeah. And Stone Watcher the Rock eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 212 XP. 500 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Lifesteal going up against Banshee Knight Page, No 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 Daniel Bryan, and Cyborg Brock Lesnar. Cards remain at 30 and 22, so the match is 5,000 credits. Here we go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So 10% lifesteal. Yeah. He's taking a lot of damage yeah. early. Page eliminated by a critical hit for 1600. Brock Lesnar's in. We're gonna go off the white noise and get rid of him, leaving Daniel Bryan by himself. Dragon through block for 753. And Daniel Bryan knee to the head for the victory in the second fight with that flaming elbow. 214 XP, 540 credits. 
In the third matchup, we have Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, Lumberjack Big Show, and Angelic Knight Trish Stratus. Gold cards gain a level of 23. To skip the match, it's 5,000 credits. <coughs> It begins. Dean Ambrose takes half top. damage from basic yeah. attacks. The quicker we can knock him out with a special move, the better. Although he is taking a little bit of damage from critical. Fury yeah. Smackdown block. We got the Irish curse and get rid of Dean Ambrose. That reduced damage is also yeah. left yeah. less life I can steal. The flesh yeah. has his block for 533. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty academic unless we take a timber from the big shell. Very yeah. unlikely. Trish Stratus eliminated. Yeah. Couple punch yeah. land block for 646. Yeah. Over Buck Slam into a white noise and the big show eliminated for the victory in the second fight. 216 XP. 580 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle going up against Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Evolved Randy Orton, and Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold. Silver card gains a level of 31. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. Goldstone Cold has more health than the Bella. Although Randy Orton has the lowest. And here they go! Life steal for 294 on Shane. Randy Orton comes in early. The Ultimate Warrior is in. He does not get the hit off as the Undertaker tags in. Then the backwards is blocked for 771. Ultimate Warrior back in. Randy Orton under half health as he is taking some damage. Then the backwards is blocked for 579. Shame is back in. Not even worth using a special on him. No cold comes in. One for the road is going to connect. Uh, luckily, that move doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so barely touches the bar. Ultimate Warrior is in. There's the adrenaline game. Someone got the Warrior Press on Stone Cold. I live for one day. 37 36. Ultimate Warrior almost eliminated, but. Sheamus comes in, and we're going to get the bro kick, and Stone Cold is eliminated for not giving Sheamus a beer. Yeah. Greedy motherfucker. This Celtic warrior bows to no one. Putting John Breaker block for 841. Undertaker at three bars, so we're going to get off the Tombstone Pile Driver, and we'll see if this is enough to get rid of him. Old enough to knock him out. Spinning drop breaker for 927. Sheamus comes back in. Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 218 XP. 620 credits. In the fifth matchup, we have Celtic Warrior Sheamus, Jungle Ultimate Warrior, and Hound of Justice Roman Reigns. Gold cards gain a level of 24. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. This will be one for the ages. Yeah. 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 Superman Punch is going to do some damage. Hits for 2480. Doesn't really touch Sheamus that much. Powerhouse Trigger. He might not get a chance to use it. Superman Punch blocked for 998. Ultimate Warrior is in. 
Edward got the bro kick. The ultimate warrior is eliminated. Also, did not offer Seamus a beer. You'll be here in 29,673 damage for the victory in the fifth fight. 220 XP. 660 credits. We're going to make our first roster change. Seamus! We're going to put Big in show. Giant Big Show. And we're going to put in Soldier Cena. John Cena, which will give Big Seamus show. an ally. Big Show will take the Money in the Bank gear. Big Show, John Cena. And Soldier John Cena will take the ticket. John so far, Cena. no procs in quite a few fights. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge. Going up against the Authority Triple H, Necromancer Undertaker, and Renegade Macho Man. Cards remain at 31 and 24. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. So we get our first money in the bank proc in 18 fights. Let's get it going. <laughs> now that health search for 371, we have a couple of allies. Triple H at one bar. Base Buster blocked for 908. That health search is extremely weak. Pretty non military when you get hit for 1600. Playing defensively, trying to avoid his level 2 move. Macho King, or Renegade Macho Man, eliminates. Triple H comes back in. Gets eliminated, and we're going to have the Bro Kick, and Necromancer Undertaker is eliminated. He's too dead to even think about giving beer to Shakes. And he only Bro drinks the Iron Puff. 31,086 damage for the victory in the sixth fight. 222 XP, 6,700 credits, up to 7,000. In the seventh matchup, we have Pantheon Big E, Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon, and Enlightened Big Show. Cards gain a level of 32 and 25, and the silver card gains a promotion at Legendary 5. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. So we have our second Money in the Bank proc in a row, and Big E starts at one bar. Let's get rolling. Shame is not doing that much damage to Big E to start. There he goes. Storm Man Crush blocked for 1045. Second Storm Man Crush, we're going to go the Irish Curse and get rid of him to avoid getting healed or giving that buff to somebody else. Cobra Club Staff blocked for 741. Second one blocked by John Cena. It takes some damage off Sheamus. And the Cena flex on Enlightened Big Show. Hits for 1170. A little bit of life still for 301. Stephanie McMahon is in and at two bars. They have to be very careful. Air pull Snapmare into an Irish curse, and we'll see if there's enough to get rid of it. Yes, it is. The Lightning Victory will probably heal close to full. Cobra Club Slam Block. Actually, Shame is almost out of damage in the reject. So, Cobra Club Slam into the Irish Curse, and the Big Show is eliminated for the victory in the Sabbath fight. Turner 24 XP. 740 credits, up to 840. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud going up against Arena Ultimate Warrior, Evolved Daniel Bryan, and Hound of Justice Roman Reigns. Cards remain at 32 and 25. Skip the match is 10,000 credits, and as you see in the ninth fight and above, you're dealing with all gold cards. 
So a third Money in the Bank proc in a row. Yes, it can happen. I've and never seen two at the same time, Oliver. So I don't know if we just need a higher percentage or bad luck. Ultimate Warrior is blocking quite a bit. That's where Seamus' gear needs to start procking. Health gain for the Ultimate Warrior. Warrior Raid blocked the 1279. Opting not to use a special move on the Ultimate Warrior. Daniel Bryan comes in. And the White Noise will get rid of Daniel Bryan. Roman Reigns comes in. Superman Punch blocked for 898. Roman Reigns taking a lot of damage. Ultimate Warrior with the Warrior Rage. That's going to do some damage. Irish Curse blocked. We've got to get Sheamus out. Throwing the fruity pebbles at the Warrior. Warrior Rage blocked for 1147. John Cena is capable of doing a little bit of damage and he can definitely hang in there. Yeah. Edward got the attitude adjustment and we'll see if there's enough to get rid of the ultimate warrior. You can't see me. Barely survived that. Warrior Rage blocked for 1191. Ultimate Warrior eliminated. John Cena wiped out. Edward got the KO punch on Roman Reigns. This will soften him up a little bit. Try to see if the machine gun barrage can be baited by the big shot. You wish you were as big as me. Powerhouse does trigger. <laughs> Superman punch will probably wipe the big show out. White noise is blocked. That's extremely bad. But we still manage to punch out Roman Reigns for the difficult victory in the eighth fight. 226 XP. 780 credits. As it ups to 880, so we got our second 100 credit proc in a row. In the ninth matchup, we have Angelic Knight, Trish Stratus, Macho King, Macho Man, and Evolve Rain York. And now we're going to opt for the WrestleMania gear. So we're going to put on more damage gear. We're going to give him the inner beast. Sheamus. So the cards are all level 26 gold. The first two cards have one promotion and the right card has two. So the match is 15,000 credits. Now John Cena can take a couple hits if Sheamus gets down on health. We'll see how that plays this out. This will be one for the ages. Flesh Headsman is blocked for 889. Trish Stratus does have the Macho Man buff, but it really doesn't matter if you can't hit the person. So Macho King is in. Macho drop blocked, and the White Noise will ensure we get rid of him, leaving Randy Orton by himself. Venomous Backbreaker blocked for 1355. Let him his backbreak with 10 3 and Randy Orton eliminated without needing to heal. Who are the victory in the ninth fight? 228 XP. 820 credits. And we received three stamina cards. In the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock going up against Skull King Triple H. Necromancer Undertaker and Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold, who has 22,000 health. Triple match is 15,000 credits. So one bro kick will still be able to finish off Stone Cold. Assuming that's the pass we take. And we have our fourth money in the bank, Brock, in the third battle. Make it up for that Let's god awful second going. battle with zero. With 2 minutes and 25 seconds to complete this fight, Triple H doing some damage on Sheamus. Now what I like about Triple H's passive is that if the opponent tags out, it causes some damage. So Stone Cold is in early. We're going to try to get up the two bars. One for the road block and a white noise. 
Hits for 19,000. Does not quite wipe him out, but extremely close. Stone Cold eliminated. Face Buster blocked for 1131. Undertaker has not been in yet. Choke Slam blocked for 695. Now we're on the road to WrestleMania. The Undertaker really can't do much by himself. Choke Slam into an Iron Curse and will either get rid of him or put him super low on health. That is enough to knock him out for the victory in the ninth fight. Actually, in the tenth fight. 230 XP. 860 credits up to 1,160. So we've gotten two procs of both in the third battle. So we're going to swap our roster. We're going to put in Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon. And we're going to put in Daniel Yes Me and Daniel Bryan. Bryan. So we're going to give Daniel Bryan the Money Daniel in the Bank Bryan, ticket. Stephanie McMahon. And we'll give the authority Stephanie McMahon her Money in the Bank ticket. Stephanie here. McMahon. She's wearing white pants. For anybody curious. So in the 11th matchup, we have Evolve Page, Jungle Ultimate Warrior, and Cyborg Brock Lesnar. Cards gain a level of 27. So the match is 15,000 credits. Now to save one energy, we're going to try to do a couple fights in Battle 4 with this team as it well. Begins. It begins. could be a problem, top. especially with WrestleMania here. So we're going to get in Stephanie McMahon right away. Only at 50% damage. Banshee Rage Block will put her at 100% damage. Now Shim is hitting for 14 13 with his heavy attack. Page eliminated. Grounded Con Block at 945. That is such a strong block. Brock Lesnar getting down on health. We're saving our special for the Ultimate Warrior. Brock Lesnar eliminated, Warrior Rage blocked, and we're going to the Bro Kick, and the Ultimate Warrior is decimated. We also did not share a beer with Sheamus. 59,345 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 232 XP, 900 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Fatigue. Going up against No 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 Daniel Bryan, Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon, and Hound of Justice Roman Reigns. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. So before Daniel Bryan has his buff, we're going to get Stephanie McMahon in and try and do the exact Here same we thing. Go! Uh, we are going to have to probably take the special first. <laughs> Twenty-five percent damage. Now at fifty. Have to be very careful. I got to get her out. Hundred percent damage for Shaman. Dragon Screw blocked for eight oh eight. Roman Reigns almost at two bars. Got to be very careful. Superman Punch blocked for six ninety one. Daniel Bryan comes back in. Dragon Screw blocked for ten oh one, and Daniel Bryan eliminated. Yeah. If we can block Stephanie with man's move, we should be in good shape. Warrior Queen yeah. ambush blocked for 1185. Yeah. Yeah. Fatigue is yeah. decent, but it's not overpowered. Yeah. Superman Punch is going to connect. It's for 4825. Second one blocked for 951, and Roman Reigns massacred. We did not get up from that. Adrenaline Drain also. Four using the WrestleMania gear. Here's both Snapmare block. And Stephanie McMahon eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 234 XP. 10,940 credits. So the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose Challenge Battle 3 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and we will receive 15,000 more credits. So in the fourth challenge, Daniel Bryan must be on your team. We're not going to swap our roster out as Stone Cold can still be one shot by a super move. In the first matchup, we have Celtic Warrior Sheamus, Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, and Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold. Silver cards are level 32 Legendary 7, and the gold card is level 30 Legendary 3. 
skip a match is 5,000 credits. Once again, we're going to try to activate the Watch damage out. buff with stuff This one's going to be brutal! <laughs> Now 50% damage. And Stephanie almost got rolled over by Jim. That's a block was special. I returned block for 1179. Jim almost at two bars. Camus eliminated. Moon Shield for three battle will soften up the damage he takes. And a seductive dance, the worst move in the game. Come out of block for 998. Three fellow wiped out. My whole stop block, and we're going to have the bro kick. And Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold is eliminated by a silver card. Get ready for a 59,345 damage for the victory in the first fight. 278 XP, 520 credits. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud going up against Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, Deadman Undertaker, and Evolve Page. The Silver Cards gain a level at 33, skip the match at 5,000 credits. Now, in this scenario, we're going to try to leave Daniel Bryan in for a few seconds. Here we go! Have to get off the damage buff before Paige comes in. Paige will do a lot of damage. Brock Lesnar already down half health. Ground and pound block. Stephanie McMahon is in. Ground and pound block for 1183. Now 50% damage. Now is the best time for that buff, and that almost wipes her out. Luckily, we get out in time. So now we can one-shot Paige when she comes in. Chuck Slam block for 1099. Sheamus is at three bars. We're going to have the airplane spin to slow down the power generation of the Undertaker. Drains almost all of his power. Sheamus comes back in. Brock Lesnar comes in, not Paige. Brock Lesnar's level 2 move is also garbage. At least I haven't found it to be useful. Brock Lesnar eliminated. Undertaker comes back in again. Choke Slam blocked for 1181. There's the dead man. Banshee Raid blocked the 2970. We're going to off the bro kick, and Evolve Page is eliminated. I'm going to bro kick you into the next 9,345 damage for the victory in the second fight. 2,808 XP, 560 Granites. And we're going to swap out to Daniel Bryan now. Daniel Not Bryan. Not that we need to, but it is five fights. We're going to put in Dean Back Alley Ambrose. and Lunatic Ambrose. Flames Daniel Dean Ambrose. We're going to give Daniel Bryan full damage here. We give him the Extreme Rules gear and the tar Tribal War paint. Daniel Bryan. Dean, and Dean Ambrose. Ambrose is going to take the Money in the Bank gear. We're also going to give him some blocking gear, the Payback. And the big boost. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. We're gonna give Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose the Money in the Bank ticket. We're also gonna give him the Champion's helmet for minor Dean blocking. Dean Ambrose. Block. Dean Ambrose. Actually, I think we're just gonna give him power generation here. That way we can show off his buff. 
Or his dirty Dean deeds. Ambrose. I haven't even seen it yet. Daniel Thank Bryan. Daniel Bryan's okay. Yes, he is. So in the third matchup, we have Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Soldier John Cena, and Renegade Macho Man. All cards gain a level of 34 and 31. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. So we have our first Money in the Bank proc in the fourth battle. This will be one for the ages. I'm gonna get in Dean Ambrose right now while Bree Be or Nikki Bella is. And I've seen that stock that, that shock that actually worked like a stock. Five hit combo is actually pretty good. Burning Dagger Barrage block for 1487. Big combo by Dean Ambrose. So we're going to go Dirty Deeds on Nikki Bell. Looks like rape. This is going to get dirty. That guy's creepy as hell. Soldier John Cena comes in. John Cena eliminated, and the Air Goat will get rid of Renegade Macho Man, leaving Brie Bella by herself. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 1352. Dean Ambrose comes back in. That Spinning Jawbreaker is going to connect, but it doesn't knock him out. Unfortunately, a Lunatic Rage triggers. Sword got the Dirty Deeds again, and Nikki Bella should be eliminated as he does increase all damage by 300%. Now, could you imagine Stephanie McMahon and Big E somehow managing to trigger Dean Ambrose's buff? This is gonna get nasty. 19,800 damage for the victory in the third fight. 283 XP as Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose hits level 23, and we get the 100 credit proc for 700 credits. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush going up against Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, Stone Watcher The Rock, and Skull King Triple H. Silver cards gain a level of 35. Skip the match is 5,000 credits. This is why I actually like the characters of Immortals, even though I still like the gameplay of Injustice Let's the most. Let's get it that going! They really have some fun effects here, and I really think the devs on Immortals have some things going. There are some things they could definitely do to improve the quality of the game. Just like harder challenges and less predictable blocking. I think are the best two things that can happen. Stone Cold eliminated, the rock is in. Daniel Bryan at three bars, we want to save it for Triple H. Face Buster into a yes, 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 and Skull King Triple H is eliminated. As you see, Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose can do some ridiculous damage. Look at that two bars. Electrified Suplex Block. We're going to take that one on purpose and see if he gets knocked out. No, he does not, so it's perfect. So we're going to go off another Dirty Deeds, and Stone Watcher of the Rock is eliminated. I'm a man. 20,295 damage for the victory in the fourth fight. 285 XP, 640 credits. And that's actually a pretty funzy card for dealing with harder challenges, too. That actually seems like a really powerful buff. In the fifth matchup, we have the Authority Triple H, Back Alley Brawler, Dean Ambrose, and Evolve Daniel Bryan. All cards gain a level of 36 and 32. Triple match is 10,000 credits. So I really think with and Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose, basic damage really comes in handy, but having ways to increase health can be very useful as well. Although unfortunately there really isn't gear that does both, except for Brock Lesnar's gear. And John Cena's Heavyweight Championship can as well. More damage on crit, so if you use those two items with the Extreme Rules gear, that could actually be pretty useful on Dean Ambrose. However, I have not seen his gear item yet. 
Dragon's Three Block for 2309. I'm sure it's going to be a fun Z gear item, just like Stephanie McMahon. And Daniel Bryan eliminated Furious Smackdown into an air go. And Dean Ambrose is eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. 288 XP. 680 credits, and I believe that was actually the fifth fight. My apologies. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle. Going up against Arena Ultimate Warrior, Banshee Knight Page, and Necromancer Undertaker with 55,000 health. Cards gain a level of 37, and the gold card gains a promotion to Legendary 4. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And we do have our second Money in the Bank proc in the fourth battle. It begins. Who will come out on top? So the Silver Dean Ambrose is in, throwing his garbage at the Ultimate Warrior. Warrior Rage will knock him out. I really don't care about that. Though. The less weak cards we have, the better. Although that does buff the Undertaker's damage. There's health gain for the Ultimate Warrior. So Daniel Bryan comes in. That's actually good. Undertaker comes in. Ergo will be enough to get rid of him. Ultimate Warrior comes in. And Warrior Rage blocked. Dean Ambrose did heal quite a bit there. So the Lunatic Fringe Trigger. It's looking about the Dirty D. And the Ultimate Warrior is eliminated by a creature. Almost like a this triple power by a sword. Daniel Bryan does come in. It looks like the shuffle does not prevent the tagging out, so that's kind of interesting. The Dark Throne is pretty garbage. Now his can't tag out is active, so apparently he does still have the buff. Now he can tag out, although with chaos it obviously doesn't work. So. And Two bars, the air goat on page two is more than enough to get rid of her for the victory in the sixth fight. 290 XP. 8,720 credits up by 100 credits. So we got our second 100 credit proc in the fourth battle. In the seventh matchup, we have Pantheon Big E, Soldier John Cena, and Cyborg Brock Lesnar. All cards gain a level of 37, but the gold card loses four levels to 33. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. And as you see in the eighth fight, there are now two gold cards. Let's get rolling. So rival buffs with WrestleMania gear are actually really good, especially if you have ways to heal. The WrestleMania gear gains so much value. The armor of the authority also helps with Stephanie McMahon. So if you have rivals. Of Stephanie, you can get some sick power damage, especially if Paige is on that list, because her level 1 move from the Bronze also increases adrenaline, as does Crash Stratus. Ground and Pound Block, Brock Lesnar eliminated, Cena Plex into an Air Goat, and John Cena eliminated for the victory in the seventh fight. So there are quite a few crazy combos, just like Injustice. 292 XP, 760 credits. I'm gonna have to make a roster change. We're gonna put in Lesner, Beast Incarnate Lesner. and Cyborg Brock Lesnar. We Rock are gonna have to Lesner. switch out the gear. We're gonna give me money in the bank gear. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. And we're gonna give Cyborg Brock Lesnar the ticket. Really don't care about anything else besides that, as they're not really. Brock Lesnar. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Fatigue. Going up against Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Hound of Justice Roman Reigns, and Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold. Silver card gains a level 39, the middle card turns into a level 33 Legendary 4, and the right card gains a, actually stays at level 33. Skip the match is 10,000 credits. Let's get it going! So 
Holy life steal on Daniel Bryan. Roman Reigns is it. Stone Cold quickly comes in. And the Dragon Screw on Stone Cold. They can take out that much pump. Only took them out about half health. Come for the run block for 2715. Superman punch block for 1800. Powerhouse triggered by Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns eliminated, spinning job record into an air go, and Nikki Bella eliminated for the victory in the eighth fight. 295 XP, as Brock Lesnar is about to hit level 38. 800 credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Stone Watcher, The Rock, Evolve Page, and Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon. If you see in the 11th fight, there are all gold cards. And the two gold cards gain the level of 34 Legendary 4. So the match is 15,000 credits. Here we go! Page comes in. That Banshee Rage is going to power drain. It's about 9,000. Although healing Daniel Bryant for 1,500, so as you see, if you up your basic damage with the extreme rules here, you can get some serious value from that. I really can't wait to evolve it. The page eliminated. Stone Watcher the Rock is in. Hopefully by the weekend we can actually do a couple multiplayer streams on Immortal. Because that was a bit long over too. Stephanie at two bars. Hair pull snap here is going to connect. That's going to do some damage. Second one blocked into an air goat and Stephanie McMahon eliminated. For the victory in the ninth fight. Two hundred ninety-seven XP, and as Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar does hit level thirty-eight, gaining twenty-three damage. We also get three energy cards as well as ninety-six health, eight hundred and forty credits, actually ninety-four health. In the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge. Going up against the Authority Stephanie McMahon in Lightning Big Show and King of Kings Triple H. Silver card gains a level of 40 Legendary 7. Skip the match is 15,000 credits. So we have our third Money in the Bank proc in the fourth battle. This will be one for the ages! One thing I have noticed about Stephanie is I've never seen her tag out with that buff. That is another mechanic they should change that would make some fights harder. It would actually make her pretty good on defense. Triple H is in. Face Buster blocked with 44-43. I haven't seen the enlightened big showing yet. Face Buster blocked. It clearly does nothing in your fall. We're going to off the yes, 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 and Enlightened Big Show is eliminated for trying to go to the buffet and not giving Seamus a beer. Greedy fucker. 75,159 damage for the victory in the 10th fight. 300 XP, 880 credits, as it goes up to 1180, so we have our first 300 credit proc in the fourth battle. And five all together. In the 11th matchup, we have Angelic Knight, Trish Stratus, Evolve Randy Orton, and Macho King Macho Man. All cards are gold, and the other two gold cards gain a level of 35. Skip the match with 15,000 credits. And here they go! So Macho King does give Trish Stratus a buff, but I'll still have to hit to actually make it worthwhile. There's some offensive track stratus. No special, but Randy Orton comes in. Sending his back with their block for 3278. Daniel Bryan at three bars, but his back with their block, Randy Orton wiped out, and we're gonna be yes, yes, yes before the Macho King can react and get rid of him. So 
25,156 damage for the victory in the 11th fight. 302 XP, 920 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Lifesteal going up against Evolve John Cena, Necromancer Undertaker, and No 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 Daniel Bryan. All cards gain a level at 36, Legendary 4. The match is 15,000 credits. It begins. Who will come out on top? Cena at double damage. Now at three times damage. How many attacks are going to hit for about 6,000? Don't want to take too many of those. Life still put them back at five times damage. That's kind of fun. You knew that doing damage would actually cause you to do less. That's how John Cena's mechanics work, but it's really fun. Necromancer Undertaker almost eliminated. John Cena doing the bulk of the damage. And the air goat will get rid of Daniel Bryan before he can do much. Finally, Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar with the block. Still gets rid of Necromancer Undertaker for the victory in a 12 fight. 304 XP, 11,440 credits, so we only got three procs in the fourth battle. Four in the third, zero in the second, and three in the third, so kind of mediocre. So the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose Challenge Battle 4 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and we will open up a Silver Booster Pack. Inside we receive... Well, we didn't collect our 15,000 credits either. We also get the Authority Triple H, which is a decent silver card. Irish Curse, which is Seamus' level 1 move. And Altered State, which is Randy Orton's energy boost. I've probably gotten that like 8 times. So on the 5th challenge, Roman Ma Reigns must be on your team, so we will be spending 9 stamina. Roman Reigns, put the Roman Reigns. in first. And the Authority Triple H has 2 extra promotions. We really haven't gotten him a whole lot. We're also going to put in Jungle Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior. Warrior. We're going to give him the money in the bank Ultimate here. Ultimate Warrior, Roman Reigns. And we're going to get Centurion Roman Reigns the ticket. Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan. So we'll swap to the WrestleMania gear on Daniel Bryan after the first few fights, which are actually pretty easy. So one challenge currency, three stamina per fight. In the first matchup, we have Dead Man Undertaker, Pantheon Big E, and Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold. Silver cards start off at level 36, Legendary 7, and the gold card is level 40, Legendary 4. Skill of the match is 30,000 credits. Watch out! This one's gonna be brutal! Team 68 on that life steal. Undertaker quickly sent to his dead man. Last rag blocked for 16 16. Undertaker eliminated, and Stone Cold comes in first. One for the road blocked for 2375. One for the road blocked into a dragon school. See if that's enough to get rid of him. Barely survived that. But we still kick him out. Strongman crushed into a dragon screw as he still had the buff. Actually, it went away. He regained it. Taken through his slow heavy attacks. And Big E eliminated for the victory in the first fight. 302 XP. 540 credits as the Ultimate Warrior will level up next fight. In the second matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge. Going up against Banshee Knight Page, Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, and Hound of Justice Roman Reigns. Silver cards gain a level of 37. Still the match is 30,000 credits. It begins. The only challenge is Hulk Surge. Only for about 178 to 191. So Daniel Bryan can heal too. 
I'm gonna watch out for the power drain. Page eliminated. Roman Reigns comes in. Superman punch block for 3,045. Beast incarnate Brock Lesnar is in. Roll for about 235. Daniel Bryan did a pretty good job healing up. Let's take a couple shots. And we're going to go the yes, yes, yes. Hound of Justice Roman Reigns is eliminated. Yes! 75,156 damage for the victory in the second fight. 304 XP as Jungle Ultimate Warrior levels up to 28. 580 credits. In the third matchup, we have the Authority Triple H, Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, and Evolved Randy Orton. Silver cards gain a level of 38, so the match is 30,000 credits. So when using basic attacks on Back Alley Brawler Dean Ambrose, you've got to treat Here him like a gold go. in this scenario. Triple H taking a lot of damage early. Triple H eliminated. Randy Orton comes in first. That missed backbreaker is going to connect. Hits for about 14,000. That did quite a bit of damage. Let's steal for 760. That missed backbreaker block for 2459. Everyone got the yes, 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 and safely get rid of Dean Ambrose. Now, if Daniel Bryan were to go down, Ultimate Warrior should be able to finish off Randy Orton. Yes! And Randy Orton eliminated for the victory in the third fight. 307 XP. 620 credits. So we're going to make our first roster change. We're macho put man, in both macho, macho, macho man. Actually, we have to leave it Roman Reigns, so that actually won't work. We're gonna put Roman in Gold Reigns. Roman Reigns. We're gonna put in Ancient Druid Roman Sheamus. Reigns. We're gonna give Hound of Justice Roman Reigns some gear. We're gonna give him the Money in the Bank gear. We're gonna give him the ticket, and we're gonna give him his gear item, the tactical vest. So Daniel Bryan will pick another gear. Daniel Bryan. We're going to give him the ultimate WrestleMania 2015. Daniel Bryan. So the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Doom Clock. Going up against Soldier John Cena, Icebound Watcher Stone Cold, and Lumberjack Big Show. Silver cards gain a level of 39 Legendary 7. Skip the match is 30,000 credits. And we got our first Money in the Bank Brock in the fifth battle. Let's get it going. Two minutes and 25 seconds to complete this fight. Daniel Bryan not really doing that much damage early on. Just play our right because he's wipe out the big show quickly. Daniel Bryan already at two bars. Big Show comes in. That's what we want to use our finisher on. So we're going to go the yes, 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 and Fat Fuck is eliminated for not giving Sheamus a beer. John Cena back in. Five knuckle shuffle block. 24-56. John Cena about to go down. There he goes. So Stone Cold is in. Wait for the road block for 967. That's blocked for 1194. He dragons through on Stone Cold. Look for 17,000. Stone Cold eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 309 XP. 
660 credits up to 960, so we got a 300 credit proc. In the fifth matchup, we have Lunar Guardian Bree Bella, Celtic Warrior Sheamus, and Macho King Macho Man. The silver cards are level 40, but the middle card loses two promotions of Legendary 5 to prepare for the sixth fight where there are two gold cards. Skip the match is 40,000 credits. And here they go. Bree Bella taking a lot of damage. Her come around a block for 984. Daniel Bryan at two bars for the Macho King. Bree Bella eliminated. And the Air Goat will get rid of the Macho King easily. Sheamus is in. I would curse block for 1656. And Sheamus is eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. Three hundred and twelve XP, seven hundred credits. In the sixth matchup, we have Challenge Adrenaline Rush going up against Arena Ultimate Warrior, No 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 Daniel Bryan, and Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon. Middle card turns into a level 40 legendary 5 gold. Skip the match is 40,000 credits. And we do have our second money in the bank proc in the fifth battle. This will be one for the ages. Warrior starts at one bar. The fifth significance is Daniel Bryan starting with one bar. Warrior Rage block for 1701. There's a adrenaline game. We have two bars to deal with either of the gold cards. Stuffing in, we have Warrior Queen Ambush blocked for 55.99. Still seems like Daniel Bryan is a smart choice to wipe out with a super move. Air Pull Snapmare blocked for 55.99. Ultimate Warrior, Warrior Rage blocked for 1701. Dragon Screw blocked, and we're going to go the yes, yes, yes. Daniel Bryan is eliminated, leaving Stephanie McMahon by herself. Yes! Air Pulse Snapmare blocked for 4581. And we're going to go the Hollow Spear on Stephanie McMahon. This probably won't be enough to get rid of her, but it will further soften her up. The big dog still runs. This whole snapmare block. And we're gonna go with the bro kick, and this pretty much has the same effect, but it'll also give Daniel Bryan a chance to heal for a couple seconds. Yeah. I'm gonna bro kick you into next week, fella. And Stephanie McMahon eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. 314 that's Pete. 740 credits up to 840, so we have one proc of both in the fifth battle. We've only swapped one card at a time. I want to wait on the two big shows until the next three fights. We're going to put in John, Evolve Cena, John Cena. Cena. We're going to give him the payback gear and the champion's helmet. John Cena. Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan does have WrestleMania. Yes, he does. We're going to have to spend six stamina for the recharging these guys. In the seventh matchup, we have Pantheon Big E, Cyborg Brock Lesnar, and King of Kings Triple H. All cards are level 40, the silver card has seven promotions, and the gold five. Still, the match is 40,000 credits. Let's get rolling. <laughs> So Big E starting off against Daniel Bryan, who is black. Yeah. 
Strong Man Crush blocked with 23-46. Big E eliminated. And Brock Lesnar is in. There's a lot of health to go to. Ground and Pound blocked for 36-45. Just a flying headbutt on Brock Lesnar has way more health than Triple H. Face Buster blocked for 5,116. Second one blocked for 5481. We got the Dragon Screw on Triple H. And also a Drill Grade, plus we kick out Triple H right in the dick for the victory in the seventh fight. 316 XP, 780 credits. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Health Surge going up against Solar Assassin Nikki Bella, Evolve Page, and Jungle Ultimate Warrior. Skip the match is 40,000 credits. So we have some softer health gold cards. So I anticipate this will be a pretty weak health for the surge. Ages. Oh, 211. Page comes in. Going for about 320 to 328. Page almost at one bar. Daniel Bryan almost at two. Banshee Raid blocked with 5742. Daniel Bryan at two and a half bars. Banshee Rage into a Dragon Skin. Seems to be the more logical play. Page eliminated, Ultimate Warrior is in. And the Air Goat will get rid of him, leaving Brie Bella by herself. Actually, Nikki Bella by herself. Almost at full health. Spinning Jawbreaker blocked for 2,000. Second one blocked for 1,257. And the Air Goat will get rid of Nikki Bella for the victory in the eighth fight. Three hundred and nineteen XP, twelve thousand eight hundred and twenty credits. In the ninth matchup, we have Stone Watcher, The Rock, Hound of Justice, Roman Reigns, and Evolved Randy Orton. The Silver Card loses two promotions of five. Skill the match is now seventy thousand credits. And here they go. Roman Reigns comes in early. That's a punch made of two bars, you'll wipe him out. Superman punch into an air goat. Roman Reigns is eliminated, and I now have level 5 golems. Now I can start researching level 4 dragons after this challenge. Venomous Backbreaker blocked for 3802. I'm a little distracted by that golem notification. Venomous Backbreaker blocked for 4298, and the Dragon Screw on Randy Orton hits for 20,501. John Cena is an ally to Daniel Bryan. The Rock at two bars, I'm going to see a stupid level 2 move. It's garbage. Randy Orton comes back in. That could be bad. If he were to connect on a special. So, Randy Orton and The Rock he eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. Three hundred and twenty-one XP, eight hundred and sixty credits. So now we're gonna put in Lumberjack Big, Big Show. Show. Big Show. We're gonna load him up completely with blocking. We're gonna be payback gear, the big boots, and the champion's helmet. Now we probably don't need Big the Big Show, but never say never if his health is Roman too low. Reigns. Roman I Reigns. I want his third gear slot. I didn't even know that. So in the tenth matchup, we have Challenge Lifesteal going up against Dead Man Undertaker, Skull King Triple H, and Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold. Silver Card regains two promotions at Elite Seven. 
skip the match is 70,000 credits. So life still have been about 10%, which is actually pretty weak. Let's get it going. I still think 50% of Nightmare is very acceptable. I think 10% is too weak and doesn't do enough. Choke Slam blocked the 1736. Only Dead Man triggers. I'm gonna tell you're really not doing any damage. You wanna get the two bars. And the air goat will get rid of Skull King Triple H easily. Choke Slam blocked the Undertaker eliminated. Stone Cold is in. Home for the road blocked for 2149. Home for the road blocked for zero damage. And the Cobra Cut Slam really won't do much. Champion's Helmet does have a small chance to proc a heal. It was a hell of a lot better before, but it was a guaranteed level 2. That one for the road going to put Daniel Bryan near 2 bars. And the Air Goat on Stone Cold will be enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 10th or 11th fight. 324 XP. 900 credits. I believe that was the 11th. In the 11th matchup, we have Lunar Guardian Brie Bella, Angelic Knight Trish Stratus, and Evolve John Cena. Skip the match is 70,000 credits, and the middle card is 118,000 health and Legendary form, and they couldn't have picked a better card to put it on as Trish Stratus sucks. Here we go! I still think the bigger threat is John Cena, not Trash Stratus. Look at that high damage. 1242. And the Air Goat on Trash Stratus. That's for about 77,000. John Cena in. Cena Plus blocked for 33.93. Basic attacks for 1044, but that will get pretty significant later on. Cena Plus blocked for 38.54. Cena Plus blocked for 43.07. And the air goat will get rid of John Cena. To get the big show in for a minute while work with three bones and double hurricane around that second one blocked for zero damage. So we got the KO punch on Brie Bella. I'd actually love to get the ultimate warrior's gear out of the flash head through his block for 3261. Everyone got the Howling Spear on Trish Stratus, and that should be enough to get rid of her. She didn't have a whole lot of health left. That's enough to knock her out. Her can run a block. And the Dragon Screw will wipe out Brie Bella for the victory in the 11th fight. 408 XP. 1,410 credits. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Shuffle going up against Macho King Macho Man, Necromancer Undertaker, and Enlightened Big Show. The all cards are level 40, Legendary 5 gold, and the middle card regains the promotion to Legendary 5. Skip the match is 70,000 credits. So we have our third money in the bank rock in the fifth battle. It begins. Who'll come out on top? Yeah. 
Macho drop block for 46.98. Roman Reigns comes in. Big Show comes in. Scepter Smash block for zero damage. Daniel Bryan back in. Macho drop blocked for 46.98. Not worth using a special on Macho. Bro. Undertaker is in. Big Show comes in. Choke slam blocked for zero damage. Boy, it's not even worth using a special on Undertaker. Macho King is anyway. Choke slam into an air go. Undertaker eliminated. Lightning Big Show's back in, so Macho Man will heal up a little bit. Homer Clutch Slam blocked for zero damage. Roman Reigns is in. Lightning Big Show taking no damage. Hammer says blocked for 2645. Big Show comes back in again. So that Cobra Clutch Slam is going to connect us. Let's put Daniel Bryan at 30 bars. And we're going to be yes, 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 and Enlightened Big Show is eliminated for not sharing his stake. But why would you? There is nobody so Macho Drop does wipe out Roman Reigns, but we're getting off the KO Punch on the Macho King and soften him up. You wish you were as big as me. Macho Drop blocked for zero damage. Another Macho Drop, that one hits for 25.58. And the Dragon Screw will get rid of the Macho thing for the victory in the 12 fight. 328 XP, 980 credits up to 1,080 credits. So we have our second 100 credit proc of the fifth battle. We'll have to make one final roster change. And this time we're going to put show. in the Enlightened Big Show. Big show. Almost does as much damage as the other Big Show, about 10 levels lower. If anybody curious about the combination, the Payback Gear blocking stops so much damage. Reduction versus Signature 2 damage, which obviously is zero if you block it. And then Augmented has an Adrenaline Drain chance on Signature 2, which the Timber and the Hammer Fist are actually really good. So you would use those as Utility Adrenaline Drain slash extra harassment and then you'd have the heal damage while blocking the hammer fist has a chance to proc every hit so that's really good on enlightened big show the adrenaline drain not so much on lumberjack because he only has one buff and the big boots have a chance to stun on the last hit of combo and the reason that's significant is that allows you to actually get more hits off and it actually makes the big show even more annoying than he already is but if you have fully evolved payback and big boots, then you can throw on another piece of damage gear, like say extreme rule, and you probably get the same effect. We also have the champion's helmet that also allows you to a 9% chance to heal self 10% on signature one and fully upgraded is 10%, and that really kind of sucks. Big show. Now we're gonna recharge Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. So in the 13th matchup, we have evolved page. Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon and Cyborg Brock Lesnar. Warrior Queen Stephanie McMahon has 117,000 health. Skip the match is 70,000 credits. So basically the main difference between Lumberjack and Watch out. Enlightened this Big one's gonna Enlightened be Big brutal. better stats all around, but Lumberjack does have that increased mitigation for six seconds when he tags in, so... If you're going up against Elite 7 people, the Big Show can probably save, take some hits, and Lightning probably would not be able to as easily. 
and you can also absorb specials a lot easier too if the tag comes in off the tag. So, Lumberjack Big Show is not useless, but it's very situational. Banshee Raid blocked the 5742, and the Warrior Queen Ambush blocked, thankfully. Now we're going to show the usefulness of the Lightning Big Show's heal. And he also gets a block right there, so right there would be a chance to stun. So basically, when you have a stun, you don't actually do the last hit of your basic attack. It just stuns the person. And you see that change on a lot of gear. It has stuns on special. Here, full snapmare for zero damage. As you see, Daniel Bryan back to full health already. Here, full snapmare into an air goat on Stephanie McMahon. It does soften her up quite a bit. Brock Lesnar comes in. That shot connects. Cyborg Strength blocked for 48.72. And the air goat on Brock Lesnar is enough to get rid of him. Air Pulse Snapmare blocked for zero damage. Everybody got the KO punch on Stephanie McMahon and soften her up. I'm a giant. Air Pulse Snapmare blocked for zero damage. And the Dragon Screw will get rid of Stephanie McMahon for the victory in the 13th fight. Four hundred and fourteen XP as Helm of Justice Roman Reigns hits level forty-four, one thousand five hundred and thirty credits. In the fourteenth matchup, we have Challenge Poison Cloud, which also favors Enlightened Big Show, going up against Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold, Evolve Daniel Bryan, and Helm of Justice Roman Reigns. Skip the match is seventy thousand credits. Let's get rolling. Poison hitting for 302. Is about 0.6% health a second. And Daniel Bryan has just over 50,000. One for the road block for 3167. Big Show easily able to out heal that poison cloud. Block breaker from the big boot. One for the road block, and the Cobra Pump Slam does not heal. Only a 9% chance. You really don't lose his health though. I think it moved it like a swivel. So the Air Goat on Stone Cold will get rid of it. Beat down block for 3472. Then O'Brien take a little damage. You're gonna get the big show back here. And see it quickly healing up. Dan O'Brien will probably be back in full life too. Yes he is. That dragon screw's gonna do some damage. It's for 20,000. You see, it's really hard to deal with the big show, even with all that blocking you. Dragon Screw blocked for zero damage, and Daniel Bryan back to full health again. That was like 20,000 damage healed in like 10 seconds. Amazing combination. WrestleMania gear on a main attacker with Enlightened Big Show is very difficult to deal with. Dragon Screw blocked for 5,500. Daniel Bryan about to go down. Any more shots should do it. There you go. Amber Nagoki, yes, yes, yes. Hound of Justice Roman Reigns is eliminated. So as you can see, that Poison Cloud was extremely weak and it's usually 1% on Nightmare of Justice. 75,156 damage for the victory in the 14th fight. 333 XP, 1,060 credits.
And in the 15th matchup, we have Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose, who's level 40 legendary 5 with 41,000 damage, 131,000 health. Challenges are Adrenaline Rush, Life Steal, and No Finishers. And skip the match is 100,000 credits. Let's get it going! So 10% lifesteal again. That garbage can didn't work. Furious Smackdown blocked for 6,055. Looks like you can fill beyond two bars. Yes, you can. I'm gonna get enlightened big show and heal off. Huh? Dean Ambrose at two bars. Gotta get the big show out for that. So he's actually at three bars. I don't want to trigger his ability too early. Probably get away with a dragon skill. I can definitely get away with that. Here we smack down into an air go or into a dragon screw. And now he should be softened up enough. No garbage can for you. Air go on Dean Ambrose. That is enough to get rid of him for the victory in the 15th fight. 420 XP. 17,650 credits. So the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose Challenge Battle 5 on Nightmare Difficulty is completed, and we will receive both the third, the fourth Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose and the Straight Jacket. So that is what the Straight Jacket looks like. If you replay the challenge the maximum number of times, you will not be able to replay the challenge again. So to recap, in the Standard Difficulty, we got 2,600 credits from the Money in the Bank gear. We got 4,000 credits from the Expert Difficulty, and in Nightmare Difficulty, we ended up getting 2,500 credits. So all together, we ended up getting 9,100 credits from the Money in the Bank gear. So I can definitely tell you that Unevolved, it really isn't worth the time and effort to do that, but it's still more credits. So the Lunatic Straight Jacket, 50% damage boost to basic attacks, which is really strong with Dean Ambrose. And, error of a fact, the opponent team takes 25% damage from Signature 1. Augmented reflects Signature 1 while blocking. And, considering the opponent likes to spam level 1 moves, that could be a good gear item for the Big Show, just to kind of absorb more damage, although reflecting Special 1 with blocking gear really isn't. But, having an extra damage boost item is pretty good, and I look forward to actually evolving that, even though and scrapping that would give you four fire, six lightning, six water, and one purple shard. And forging it at the first rank, 1,000 credits, two fire, three lightning, and three water for a 1% boost and 0.7%. So it looks to be about 40% damage from Signature 1 fully evolved and 70% damage boost. And I'm not sure what the reflect is, probably 20 to 25%. So if you like this video on the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose full five battles of Nightmare Difficulty, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other WWE videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!